Drive World has just released the Yesco. All right, here's the car in game. I'm gonna upgrade it and see what I can make it look like. Here we can see it has 1,100 horsepower and the score is 1,100 as well. All right, I upgraded all the car. I'm four now. And it has 2,300 horsepower and the score is 2,200. Now I'll show you some of the upgrades that you can put onto this car. Personally, I like no wings, so I'm going to choose that. have a plate on it currently. Maybe they're gonna add that later. Now let's add the paint that I like. and I've maxed it all the way out. Now I'm going to test it in some races and we'll drive it around. This thing can easily get over 300 miles per hour. seems to max out at around 360 miles per hour all right we got one other one let's see how fast this can be Alright, this car is really fast. This, I think this, if I put the right tune, 
and I make the suspension better, I think this is the best car in the game. Alright, this is the race that Gesco really shines on. It feels like an F1 car. That's how good the handling is on this race. This car feels exactly like the P1, but it has a faster top speed, faster acceleration, and I think you could get a sub one minute on race circuit with this car. We actually also have two new races in this game. One of these is Park Rally right here. This race, in my opinion, is actually the best race in the game currently. Second being Homeowners Association. Now, the second race is Turbine Circuit. This race also, in my opinion, is one of the best races in the game. Compared to the other Descent races, this actually has a better feeling than the other ones. There we go, we got three Gescas there. In the shop they also have other cars like the Stallion 500, the Super 4, and the Stallion 350. They also finally added doors to this, so you have all five doors you can open. I have already seen 133s with this car, so I think it actually can become better than the Bugatti in Around the World. While I'm here, I actually want to add they removed the hitbox for the pyramid, so you actually can't can't climb up it anymore. And this is for park rally, so you don't accidentally hit it and then go flying. Here is the interior for the car, and it actually has a. Speedometer that you can actually see how fast you're going. 